Christmas we're talking about. Day number eight. <clears throat> You right? Day number eight of uh, the 12 days of uh, Jarhead here. Day number eight for the mutants in the basement. Holiday season, Jarheads. <laughs> hey! Day number eight. We're talking about a great movie, maybe the best movie. I don't know. Uh, none of the above, actually. I was just trying to be optimistic. I've had kind of a <laughs> so far. <laughs> I see, I see, <laughs> let's see where your head's at. Well, it's not up my ass like our PAs have been. No. But uh, enough about that. That's for our other channel. Pete Picks or Us. Check it out. This one's a classic. Yeah. About the uh, most irresponsible family in the whole entire world. Agreed. Agreed. I always wondered how, what, what part in the drug train did his dad work in to afford this house and pay for nine people to go to France on vacation? Uh, he probably worked for Enron. <laughs> Identity Christmas theft is a real crime, Jim. Thousands of people are hurt every year. Uh, we're talking about Home Alone. Starring the one and only Macaulay Culkin. And, uh, you know, that, that wonderful yeah. actress from Beetlejuice. <clears throat> Why, not Winona Ryder. Not Winona Ryder. Kathleen O'Hara. O'Hara, yeah. She had a nice Irish Kathleen. name. Yeah. But uh, you know, in, uh, in a good cameo from Mr. John, the late John Candy. Yeah, yeah, the uh, you know, singing hits like polka, polka, polka. Yeah. Polka all day, sleep all night. Dude. You know, they didn't even pay John Candy for that that cameo. Oh, yeah? Nope, he did it as a uh, a favor to his friend Mr. John Hughes. Ooh. And old Uncle Buck himself, what a nice yeah, guy! Yep, yeah. and he was supposed to do it for just a couple hours. They kept his big ass on set all day, his big ass. all day in the moving truck, all, all day. <laughs> Bunch of dudes, you know, the original sausage party. A lot of things that didn't make sense in the movie, but uh, you yeah, know, what do you do? A little suspension of disbelief, yeah. Uh, you know, like, how's that lady uh, live in the park? The wet bandits are not the, the most brilliant individuals in the world. <laughs> yeah, but let's, be, let's be fair, neither are we. All right, so, hey, call a spade a spade. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I, I don't know the situation that I'd be in. I don't know if I'd pursue a kid across a rope into a treehouse. Yeah, no, probably not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, that is a great scene, though. <laughs> Back, it go is. Back, but... Go back. I know you're dedicated, how homie. Actually, do that. I mean, like, like, like Marv has got to have like at least three concussions. Oh yeah, yeah. Have you or seen? Four. And to our viewers as well, there is a a great clip done by Corridor Crew, where they make Home Alone. They make it an R-rated movie, and they show like true battle damage to the wet bandits as it's as it's happening to them and uh it's fantastic so check that out it, it, i think the channel is called corridor crew but yeah so to get back to home alone great great damage across uh you got a favorite scene or a favorite part of the movie no not really i mean i not saying that it is a bad thing i mean i just there's not one i can really pick apart uh if it is it's probably something I can't remember off the top of my head right now that Joe Pesci says. <laughs> so that's fun, yeah. Uh, I think it's like when he's like flipping out on Marvin, he's hitting him with that crowbar. Yeah. He's like, get the cat, get the cat, get the cat, get the cat. <laughs> uh, 
as dumb as it is, my favorite scene is when he's shooting the BB gun at like the Joe Montana sports figure. And they're yeah. falling down the, the laundry chute. Uh, as a kid, that was like, I, w- I want to do that. Like, and that's something I could yeah. achieve. Like, <laughs> uh, never did, never did. But, you know, I'm not bitter about it. It's okay. You know, I'm a grown man now. I can, uh, I can shoot a BB gun at action figures if I want. And uh, mom can't tell me no. But oh yeah, never loved uh... me, mom. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh. It's a classic, followed up by even a great sequel. So, arguably the only one of the few that have a, a sequel that's at least as good, if not better, right? In regards to Christmas movies, I would say movies in general. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot that the. It's still the same irresponsible family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You think you know you put a low jack on this freaking kid after the first time, but you know who am I to? I mean, at least this time he made it to the airport. <laughs> yeah, he did make it to the airport. He did not make it to New York in the first. Well, one. I guess he did make it to New York. They were going somewhere. Where were they going in the second one? Uh, Paris or something. They went to Paris in the first. One. No, did they? I don't think they made it. I think they were going, and then mom headed back. I don't know. In the first one, I don't know. They're kind of the same because she finds again, them again at the again, end. Again, while we're talking about the second one here, the, the dad, you know, Kevin racks up. I think it was a nine hundred sixty-seven dollar room service charge, right? Dad's freaking money bags got this giant mansion of a house, and is taking everybody on vacation for the second time. And he's worried about a thousand dollar bill that you know. Hey, you left your freaking kid twice. Uh, maybe shut up and <laughs> yeah, but pay the pay the son yeah, of a bitch. Yeah. Just uh, you know, hey, let him have that win. Give the man these monies. <laughs> yeah, pay the man his money. <laughs> that's that's from Rounders for all you people in Wisconsin that uh, maybe don't know. Matt Damon <laughs> and John Malkovich. <laughs> You, sir, are a delight. You are a delight. You light up the screen. Oh. <laughs> Bryce! Here's with a clip, man. Come on. Bryce! Play the clip where he shoots him in the dick. Yeah, it's, yeah. Play the dick clip, Bryce. Dick clip. Not the one that... Not, not the one I sent you. The other one. Whoa. He's going to get a hold of HR. You really is that, right? We have an HR department? Look, I hired the last guy. You got to hire an HR person. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll take your request now. You, you, you go ahead and submit an application to uh, we're not going to fuck or hire you at gmail.com. And <laughs> we'll uh, we'll get back to you. Don't call us. We'll call you. It comes up when you search indeed.com. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, Pornhub. Job. Wait, what position are you trying to fill? I'm trying to fill the missionary. Oh. <laughs> Play the clip, Bryce. <laughs> no more table. Where are you going, pal? Next time you have a chance to kill someone, don't hesitate. Thanks for the advice. Uh, I, I just have like deja vu, man. You know, you pay these kids in fish heads and block cheese, and they're just not grateful. You know. You know when I was a kid, I'd have been ha- I would have been happy to get fish heads and commod cheese. Commod commod cheese. Look, they can't all be first round draft picks, folks. And uh, let's face it, we're not paying these kids what anybody's going to pay them. So I think we're getting a little more lenient on Bryce since it's getting closer to Christmas and we want him to be able to enjoy the holidays with his family. So we're not going to break any appendages that would prevent him from doing such. But I, I don't really feel like you need a, like a pinky, maybe a ring finger. You know, you can, you can still hold, hold your fork. Yeah. He can still use the mouse with tree fingers. So uh, I just bought this cigar cutter. I, I'm, I'm anxious. 
we're at uh, eight days of Christmas, nine days of Christmas, and uh, yeah. So this this was eight. I lost count like this- six ago. So you you tell us. <laughs> I told you I failed math for Marines, right? So that's the HR lady. We ain't got one yet. Right, what are you gonna see you tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, folks. <laughs>